Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Victory from CZT Milda Weiss. Now, this is a neat looking tangle. And, I'll, you know, I like having these kind that are super easy. And this one in particular, you can take this in a number of different directions. So it just starts off with um I was like, where do I want to start? Oh, you know, I think I'm just gonna start. Yeah, like right here. Okay. So straight line. I could we'll do the lines first. And so kind of graduating the taller lines. And I could probably do these a little bit bigger. Um, so let's do that. Oops, I'm like, like, wow, that's awful tiny. All right. I'm just being careful. And I'm using the PN pen just because I, I felt like wanted something a little bit thicker but not really really thick okay then uh just adding some some you could either think of them as uh very small orbs or dots that's kind of a mix right like at what point does a dot become big enough to be a considered an orb hmm Don't have to philosophize on that. <laughs> and, you know, as, as many dots as you want. And then coming off the side, we'll do another one. And I'm going to say you could, whatever direction you want to go. Um, let's see. I'm going to do longest this way. But I'm going to go a lot longer because I think I want to have it tee off this way again. But it's just neat because you can do whatever you want. I mean, you can anyway with Zentangle, but I like the celebratory feeling I get from this. You know, and, I mean, the name helps, but, you know, if you don't know the name and you're just looking at it, if you're like, oh, it does, it looks like a, it's like a party. And if you uh, take a look at the link, uh, the For More Inspiration link, which takes you to Tangle Pattern, which is where I found this one. And take a look at the one sample where, um, and let me, let me just, since I have it right here in front of me, who did this? I think it, oh, this must have been from Milda. And she did all curvy lines. So, um, oh, and, and some orbs there. Um. And there's another one here where it looks like maybe this was Linda uh, playing around with it. Um, where it looks a little bit like the Tangle Ah. And if you're not familiar with that one, it's, uh, it, it's more in the round. I like this. It's just so much fun. Oops, I didn't leave enough room for dots there. Oh, well. You know, and you can make these as, as thick as you want. And, you know, that's the one nice thing about this. I'm just going to put one here. <laughs> the rest is off the page. That's the one nice thing about the PN pen is because you can, uh, sometimes I'll like turn it on its side just a little bit and you might get a little bit thicker line, but you can also press a little, press harder um, or you know, or lighter and get varying thicknesses without wrecking it. Because, <laughs> where am I going? I'm going right here. Um, I love watching Maria with the regular, like, 01, and just watching how she moves the pen and varies the that weight. And it's just so neat to watch. And someday, someday, I'll do that. And I noticed on a 
let's see. Maybe it was on one. Maybe it was on Linda. Oh, no. You know what? I have the. I got the impression that they were thinner on, at the tip and thicker towards the end. But it's just the. Uh, it's just the impression that you get from from doing that. And I'm also. Let's see. That's because it just needs to have something over here. Let's do. Long. Well, see, and, that, and I'm coming back because I just wanted it to be a little bit thicker. And then when you, you get a little gap like that, you got to do something with it. And then I wanted them to be kind of even. Oops. Like I said, it just looks like it's a party exploding all over the page. <laughs> I love it. So, so neat and fits in well to the, the monthly uh, thing that been, we're doing on Tangle Addicts, which is Festivus Tangleus 2022. So uh, tangles that are festive in nature, this fits the bill. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you are interested in that, do check out my website, tangleaddicts.com. The link is in the description. Uh, you there's there's a menu item for that in particular, uh, as well as uh, when we did Inktober and Inkvember. Um, eventually, I'll figure out how to get the get the the, the past ones into uh, a menu, uh, you know, so that way it doesn't take up so much room. But anyway, that is for me to figure out. So if you enjoyed this, and I hope you did, would love to have you click like. Feel free to share it, leave comments. And if you liked it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. I mentioned the description section. I have links to the step outs there. I always do my own version. And then below that, in the for more inspiration link is always to the originator of the tangle. And below that uh, website link. And if you happen to be on Facebook, we have a wonderful, wonderful community of tangle addicts. And uh, would love to have you join us there if you happen to be on there. Uh, so you can check that link out. I think that's it. Oh, if you're interested, if you really like tangling and you really want to tangle live with people from all over the globe, <laughs> we would love to have you join us. I do teach classes. You'll see the link there for classes slash sessions. Uh, it's almost twice weekly. A lot of them are free. I do have some that are paid and, um, and you will see that information on there. So with that, thanks so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling. And but wait, there's more, maybe. I just realized, well, we didn't even discuss shading at all. And, and it's really hard to shade straight lines, but you could do, if you want to, um, like a drop shadow. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to use what the, you can see. This is my very well-loved Tortillon. Um, you know what? Nope, nope. Let me take that back. Let's just do it with the, the pencil. And see, and you just have to pick a side. And I'm and actually I'm not even gonna use the tortillon. And I'm just kind of I'm being very sketchy here. And just, as you can see, just to the one side. And usually I try to do it a little offset, maybe. And you know what? And regardless of, I'm just doing it on that one side. And here we'll do it underneath because that's what I have here. Now you could do this and, and use the tortillon. And it depends on the look that you're going for. I have found when I did it, um, I think the first time I really, really played with this was with the Tangle Wanderline by Thomas Padros. Uh, and I do have a video on that. And uh, I used the Tortillon and it just made it a little too heavy. So it's like, nope, you know what? It works just fine with, with just the pencil and going real light with the pencil like that. So I think you can, yes, you can see that. So I wanted to throw that little bit in there extra. Um, and uh, if you stuck around to see this, thank you. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. 
<laughs> we see who the real tangle addicts are that go away to the bitter end and, and you know through all the stuff that i say every time <laughs> so i thank you for that and um yeah and saying I, I, as i was looking at the picture i'm like something is missing oh shading that's what's missing so there we go all right again thanks so much for watching have a great one and happy tangling <laughs>